Hey, Soloholics, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Cricut map so that you can use it with a Cameo. I personally prefer the Cricut mats. They are a lot uh, sturdier. They last longer. You don't get those little shards from cutting too deep into um, the mat, I, and they just last a, a lot longer, um, in my opinion. So I have pretty much always used Cricut mats with my cameos. I do a lot of print and cuts, and if it's not set up just right, your prints aren't going to register. And also, if you're like me and you like to cut edge to edge, um, you also want to have this set up and you know have it accurately calibrated so that it's in the right position and you don't lose. Um, some of your design because you may have it set off uh, too far to the right, the left, top, or, you know, uh, too high at the top or bottom. So I'm going to show you how to do that on both 12 by 12 and a 12 by 24 inch mat. Okay, I'm going to open up a new page. Um, right now it's set for 12 by 24, so we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to turn off my print border because that is irrelevant to this. Um, right now, I'm set up the correct way, but just in case you are not, down here in the corner, that little thing that looks like a little gear, is your preferences. We're going to click on that, and we're going to go to defaults. Right here where it says cut to edge of page, make sure that that is checked off, okay? Then we're just going to head, and I'm going to just hit cancel because mine is. You would hit okay if yours was not. Now, you're going to come over here to the shape tools or drawing tools, click on the rectangle, and just make a random box. It doesn't matter what size it is for right now. We're going to click on that. At the top up here, you will have your scale. Now, if you have a smaller screen, your scale may not show up here. You may have, like, it may be like a drop down that you have to um, uh, click on, or it may be an arrow at the end if you don't see the scale. It's going to say width and height. If it does not come up over here, you can always come over to this side to your transform and it's going to be the second option in your transform window. No matter which one you use, you want to make sure that your lock is unlocked because you want to force it to the settings that you need. We're going to make our width 12 and then hit enter, tab 24, enter, all right? In this same transform window, you're going to go back to the first one, which is your align tool. You're going to hit center to page, which is the bullseye with the box around it. Right? Then you're going to come back over to your, uh, your icons for, for the line tools. We're going to click on that first one, come over. Just make sure that your mouse is inside of the design area. Hold down shift and you're going to make a line. It really doesn't matter how long it is, long as it's over 12 inches. So you don't have to go in and make sure it's a specific you know, um, number. We're gonna come back here, click on draw a line, hold down shift and make a straight line. Long as it's longer than 24 inches, we're okay. I don't know, I'm gonna make that one again, just to make sure it was straight. There we go. Now, you're going to start on this side, hold down your left mouse key, drag and select over both over all three, the box you created, the horizontal line, and the vertical line. You're then going to come back over here to transform. You're going to align to the left and align to the top. It's going to put that li those lines right where they need to be, right along the edge. Then I'm going to click on the box and we're going to move it out of the way. Um, I'm going to show a video on how to tape off. I used to just do it on the mat. I highly recommend that you tape off your mat, especially if you're using the newer Cricut mats. Because of the color of them, um, it interferes with the registration. So you have to basically cover up that darker green because you will get registration failed every single time because of the color of the mat. All right. But once you go and you mask off and you tape off the sides and the top of the mat, you're going to come to send. And it doesn't really matter what settings you put or like which one you choose as far as material. You can just click on something. 
But what you want is, I mean, I've done it at a two, I've done it at a three, like whatever my blade is on is what I pretty much cut it at. Um, so, I mean, you can put a three, but it's tape. It's not going to mess it up. Leave it at a two. The key thing is, you know, um, having it cut fairly quickly so that you don't kind of gather a lot of the adhesive of the tape, you know, so that doesn't interfere with your blade and it messes up your blade. 10 um, is kind of high. We're going to go and shoot for around like eight. So we want it to go fairly quickly and not drag, but don't want it to go super fast. The force, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can leave it at 15. I've done it at 10. I've done it at, you know, 20. When I used to do um, uh, without the tape, I would make the force a little bit higher so it kind of digs into the mat. But this is fine. So 2, 8, 15. We'll go with that across the board. You're going to go load your mat. You want to make sure that you are loading your mat um, at the back end of that blue line if you have a two or a three. If you still have an original, it's not colored in, but you can see that little gray line um, where the they have those two little like arrows or triangles. And that back of the line is where you want to line your mat up to. And again, in the video, you will see how I do that. So you're going to line up there, load mat, and then you're just going to come here and hit send. It's going to cut the tape. You're going to pull that away. You then want to flip your mat and again, put tape along the edge and along the top, load it back in and do it and do the cut again. You want to do the cut from here and not just one big box. Reason being, the Cricut mat is a lot bigger. So if you just put it in there to let it cut all the way around. It's going to like um, this side over here. It's going to be more on the sticky part of, um, of the mat. So you don't want it to do that. So you want to cut one side, unload it, turn it around and flip it, you know, and put the tape there, load it, and then cut it again. All right. So that it's accurate every time that you put it into the machine. All right, so stay tuned for the video portion of it. Um, if you are kind of comfortable with this and you can kind of go from there, you don't need to see the actual demo of me putting the mat in the machine. Uh, go ahead, if you are not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the subscribe bell, like, comment, share, um, hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. If you aren't a member of my Facebook group, Silaholics Anonymous, Silhouette Help, the link for that will be in the description box. Um, and also I will put a list, um, the links for my recommended uh, print and cut items, uh, things for shirts. So I'm just gonna put a, a link to my Amazon store, which has a lot of the items that I use whenever I'm creating most of my projects. I know one of the questions I get all the time is what do you use for chip bags? I don't do them very often. So when I do them, I actually just use my regular hammer mill color copy, not the cover, but just like the regular paper in eight and a half by 11. I don't use anything special, but I constantly get that one. So I know people are going to probably look on the Amazon list and look for those things, but I, I don't have anything special guys. All right. So st stick around, wait for the demo. And until next time, guys, have a great one.